we noticed that this one had a crack right above the gold part. We noticed it had a crack. So we were thinking, hmm. And one that we saw a crack in earlier came out. So this one's eclosing. This is the one that had bled. You see that black on the chrysalis? I was really scared. The kids the other day, well, there's a strand stretched across there. Do you see that strand? It's a hard job. But we, it had bled a little bit when it was in its chrysalis, so we were really scared. What a hard job. Then they got to grab on. So we noticed a while ago the abdomen, the very abdomen, the very bottom part of it, of the body, is really thick. So it's got to grab on and get its abdomen out. And the, that's going to pump blood into its wings. Sorry, I'm bumping around. See how curly they are? See how fat the bottom part of its body is? This happened so quickly, it's crazy. Unless it's struggling, but it's holding on. And I put it in this enclosure because it, it will, see that beautiful pattern on its abdomen? But it's able to hook on, see its little toes? They're talking about it. They're doing a science experiment. I snuck away. So this one, the others were hanging on to the chrysalis, but you can see on this one, on the chrysalis, it's got those dark lines. They just, they waggle back and forth for a little while, it seems like. And we think it's interesting. We only see in two sets of legs. My nephew noticed that, but I remember seeing three sets of legs, three sets of true legs on the chrysalis. I mean, on the larva, the caterpillar. I'm trying to hold it still. It's really hard. The ones in the background, the one on the far right that's moving its wings, up, opening and closing its wings. That one eclosed, eclosed is what you call them when they come out of the chrysalis. That one eclosed this morning about 7.30 and it's right now, I may bobble a little, it's right now 11 o'clock. So we noticed that this one had a crack. I'm saying, I'm thinking about I think about 8th or we noticed it had a crack right above that gold. I think it looks like a little tiara or tiara, depending on what, how you pronounce it. Kind of like a little partial crown of gold on the chrysalis if you see an image of one. So what's happening, that thick abdomen is full of blood and that is starting to go into the wings. And it's going to hang there and their wings will start unfurling. Uh, I videotaped one earlier. It took about 12 minutes or so, which is crazy for the legs to, I mean, the wings to start kind of get uncurled. This one's roaming around. I had taped these up, and there's a video I watched on how to do that because they were in a small enclosure, a hard plastic enclosure. So all these are just hanging out to dry, really. Um, that one right there came out this morning. That one came out, and you can see the one on the right came out this morning. I'm going to focus on it. 
and the green one in the background, we found it about a week later, so it hadn't come out yet. And then that one on the left, uh, it closed probably while we were in math class. So it had closed maybe about 30 or 40 minutes ago. So it's already pretty straightened out. Can you see? And the one there in the background, it went actually off of that, that one. It happened this morning before school in my car <laughs> uh, overnight, probably. And it finally moved over to the net. So it's going to be probably ready to go. We're thinking we read about four or five hours is a good amount of time. And we thought this, these, when I put them in here, they were green like that back one. They had been hanging for about a week. I'm trying to brace myself without making it fall. They'd been hanging about a week in uh, on, on Friday of last week. So that one's exercising its wings. Um, and I think I'm gonna look at it a little bit better. I think the one behind, the one that's stretching its wings out, I think it's a boy, yeah. And the way I can tell, um, they've got little, you can't really see it too well, and it's going off a bit. See that kind of dark spot on that stripe? There's like a wider dark spot. There's a little dark spot on one of the, both of the lower wings. Um, I can see it, I can see it pretty well on this other one. I'm gonna go over here and look at it. We've got the net here partially closed. Well, it's hard for me to point it out without disturbing them. Um, if you look at them right there, that's a little, did I, I don't know if I moved the, ah, sorry little guys, that little spot, a thicker little area that is like a scent little something or other it has scent in it and that makes you know it's a boy. Let's see how this little guy still curled. I'm going to focus and look at its abdomen, how beautiful that is. See the pattern? Their tongue is called a proboscis. It's all curled up. That one seems to be curled in a weird way. I hope this little guy makes it. The kids got to see, lots of kids got to see the other one come out. So that abdomen is a lot smaller than it was. Their wings are kind of wet. And down at the bottom, can you see that liquid down there? That comes out of them. It is called mercomian. And it's, um, there's also mercomian, mercomian inside a baby's little, kind of like if you were a chrysalis, came out of a chrysalis, there's like a little sack around you when you're a baby. And sometimes mercomian comes out. Oh, he doesn't look that pretty red. Look at all those spots. They're really beautiful. They're doing a cool comparison lesson right now. So luckily I have a teaching assistant this year, so she's helping him. So look, the abdomen is not thick at all in comparison. It's got those little white spots on the tips and there's a little, maybe a bump in this abdomen. I don't know if that's the same as the others, but this one had a little damage to it. Um, somebody, I got on a site and it said that, I showed the picture because I was really scared. And a woman said she had, one of them had that, and I can't remember what it's called, um, but she said one of them had that in hers, but it turned out okay. So that's what we're hoping. Just a tiny, it's just as long as it's not too much. I had another one that at the same time, this was Friday, so today is Tuesday, the following Tuesday. I hung all these up on Friday of last week. 
and I was thinking that it would take them another week, but we saw something called uh, antenna buds coming out. I'm gonna see if I can wor worm my camera through here without disturbing these guys, but let you see what antenna buds look like. So let's snake my way through here. Let me see if I can show you on this guy. You see those, let me see if I can, this is hard, I'm doing one hand. Right there. See those little stripes going down? That's gonna be its antennas. Check this beautiful thing out. I'm gonna, oh, beautiful. And there's one. They're just amazing. So they start out really little. You hear that crunch? I just touched an empty chrysalis. They're like kind of like a dried leaf. So here's the fellow we're watching, or the girl, or the boy. I don't know what it is. And I'm going to try to reach without going too far. We've got some little babies that we just found yesterday. I'm going to try to reach. I'm going to show you the whole little enclosure I've got. I've taken over my desk with it. And you can see them hanging. That's why we got it open. You can't see them too well. But I hung them up so they have a little room because they were in a container. Sort of like this before. Yeah, everything's moved around. Uh, we put pantyhose over it to keep them from coming out. So just itsy. Bitsy. You see those tiny little guys? Some of them are big compared, but they're all little. Okay, I'm going to come back over here. And so if I kept watching, this would eventually, uh, its wings would unfurl the rest of the way. Just abdomen looks kind of funny to me. I don't, I don't know. Because it's just, I think it should be more smooth. Look, it's working its little mouth. You see it doing that? It's moving its abdomen. Anyway, they're quite beautiful. The one from a few minutes ago is totally. I think that one's a male too. I'm going to show you how I know. I'm going to try to reach this book. Miss Stephanie, would you hand me that little Monarch Butterfly book right there? Okay, thank you. So she's handed me this book. Ooh, they're opening up. So here's what I'm talking about. This is how you can tell if it's a boy or a girl. So the, girl, the, the boys have these things right here. And the girls do not. That's how you tell. That's a little life cycles book we have. We got lots of books out. They're really enjoying looking up stuff. So there's that, and here's one opening and closing. So you can see that one's male. We had some females yeah, that we released yesterday. So we're going to release these today. Probably going to wait a few hours, give them a chance to get good and strong. You got a really neat pattern on them. So let me get back to the kids. That's pretty amazing, though. Look at that. Something you don't see every day feel very blessed so if you get if you want monarchs to come to your house plant a bunch of regular flowers you look up on the internet what kind of things they like and you can also um, plant some milkweed and they'll come we've also got a bunch of pipe vine swallowtails if you want to see those I'm going to show you those so I believe it or not I cleaned up this last night but we've got something like 60. <laughs> I gave three to the preschool, but I'm going to take off the lid. Maybe there's none in it. Oh, this reflection. I'm trying to get the lid off. Anyway, we've got like 60 of these. I'm just going down in there. 
and we've got some tiny ones. I put them in there, but I might, it keeps the mo leaves moist. They're just in a plastic bag. And there's some even tinier ones. And here are some pot vine swallowtails. That, there's one that's becoming uh, chrysalis. It's really glary. This is a re right next to a recycling tray. And then here's some that are hanging in there. Pipe vine swallowtails. They kind of, I think they look like a bear a little bit. And then they kind of, after a while, they turn kind of brownish. You can't really see because they'll glare. But anyway, pretty kind of cool. And they're hanging in their different places. Anyway, thank you very much. One last look at our little dude here. That's pretty amazing. Pretty beautiful. Thank you for watching.